Hi, welcome to our governance.business session on the absence management functionality for resource manager. In this session, we will show you how to manage absences massively for different resources, manage absence allowances for different resources, and also view absences for the different resources. So let's start with this demonstration by using a resource manager in our environment. So let's select here Hugo Lucas, which is a resource manager. And then to access all the information on absence management, you can go to resource management, absences, and then absence management. So in here, you will be have the ability to manage the different absences for the resources that you choose. So in this case, we can apply a different set of filters, okay, in order to massively update, add, reject, approve, remove absences from the different resource calendars. So let's select a calendar, for example, like 2020 March, we won't apply any other filter so we can see all the resources. And then searching for these resources, we have then all the absences that are currently scheduled or that are approved in approval or pending removal for the different resources in the organization. So if we would like, for example, to remove these three days of vacations from Abraham, Abraham Alvarez, we can basically choose those days and just hit remove. And then in this case, those absences will be removed from this profile. If we want to schedule absences for Abraham Alvarez uh, directly, we can also then choose days that don't have any uh, absences scheduled in them and then select what, time, what kind of absence type I would like to book. So in this case, for a resource manager, there are all the absence types that exist in the, the, the solution can be used directly in this screen. So you don't have to just select the absence types that are currently uh, uh, associated with the policy of the resource. No, as a resource manager, you can overlap those absence types and just select anything that you have on your absence type list. So in this case, we have here all the absence types that you can choose. Okay, so for example, I can just book here, okay, parental leave. Okay, so selecting this parental leave, I can then select the type of uh, scheduling that I would like to apply, full day, half day, hours. So let's uh, say that these are full days and then just schedule that. Okay, and by scheduling that information, it means that I will have those five days of absences scheduled as parental leave, okay? So you can do that for any resource that currently is in this list that you have filtered, okay? And select any type of absence type that you would like to put in the calendar for that resource. As a second functionality, we will show you how to manipulate the allowances for each of the resources. So allowances that either define the approvers for that type of absence, or then that define also the number of days that are allowed for the resource to schedule in the solution. So to access that functionality, you can go to the second tab here on this absence management, which basically brings you to a screen where you have to filter uh, which resources you would like to manipulate or see the current allowances that they have on their uh, um, on their resource, associated to their resource. So we will select everything. So we will select every person, every resource that we have uh, in the, the solution right now. And here we have all the allowances that are currently configured for each of those resources. Okay, and also information on the consumption of days based on that uh, those allowances that are configured. So in here you can either 
do add or change the current al the, the allowance so you can select the allowance and delete it or edit the current allowance and editing takes you to a screen where you can edit the current information for that allowance or you can add a new allowance okay by selecting the resource and then uh, putting in all the information of the allowance that you would like to create for that resource okay and the last option is to do all of these things in a massive way so in a batch perspective to do that you can either export the current data to excel and manipulate that data to import it okay in the solution or you can already go to the import part of the resource absences which takes you to a screen which is basically a wizard to do import of those allowances so you can basically grab the template for example okay which basically gives you a template for those absences you can then also manipulate the current template and insert all the information and once you have that information filled in in the template you can basically use this to upload the current template into the solution okay and with this information you have identified that the data is in the sheet data and then the number of rows that are identified in that sheet we see that we have uh, we are trying to submit two data rows okay and then the fields that have been mapped and then we can just import that data okay so before you import that data for example because we are important importing for a certain resource we can go back to our manage allowances screen just filter out by a resource so Lyle Nelson just hit search currently he only has one absence defined and if we do the import process where we can see that everything went well then we can go back to this screen and if we filter again the information we will see that for Lyle Nelson we have two new entries so the entry on education and the enter entry on vacations for 2021 for the resource Lyle Nelson okay so this is the second functionality in terms of managing allowances massively in the solution the third thing is essentially how you can uh, view the different absences for the resources which can also be used by a normal user uh, if he has rights or accesses to see that information so in this case to see the vacation the, the vacations the absences you can go to absences and then view absences or go to open and absences basically the same functionality okay so if we go to this one we then go to a screen where we can select and filter the information that we would like to see for the different resources okay so in this case we will also select that we want to start consuming from march 2020 onwards okay we uh, can select just to see a certain vacay a certain absence type okay or any resources and so on so let's search everything and see what kind of information we have so basically we have all the information on the approved absences for the different months for the different resources so we can see all of that information here in the calendar for march if we would like to iterate for the different months we can always do so by following the arrows or just uh, selecting for the current date which basically shows the current month okay for the absences 